Hey guys, Nick here. So this is part two of a three-part mini-series on working with row IDs. Um, so in the previous video, we went through how to reset row IDs. Um, in this next video, we're going to go through how you can extract the row IDs um, into a new column in your data set. So if you were in the previous video, you saw we were working with this data randomly generated and the row ID has um, the cluster name in it so what we want to do is we want to take this row ID with the cluster names and pull it out into a new column ready so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the node repository we're gonna search row ID just like I did here we're gonna take the row ID node drag and drop it onto our workflow and we're going to annotate this one. We're going to extract row IDs. So then we'll connect the node to our data. We're going to double click. So now what we're going to do is in the previous video, we had this option selected to replace the row ID, um, but we don't really want to do that we're going to go, we're going to uncheck that. We're going to go down here where it says create new column with row ID values. We're going to select that. So this is going to extract the row IDs into a new column. And now we just need to give Nime a name for that column. So I'll say um, cluster names because we know those row IDs are currently uh, descriptive of the clusters for each uh, or for the data, right? So all we have to do is hit apply, hit OK. Now we can right click, execute. You can see it's executed because it's in green status. We can right click and we can look at our output data. And now if I zoom in, you can see, oh, wrong way. So if I zoom in, you can see we've got our row IDs still have the cluster names, but now we have this new uh, column in our data set that has the row ID values in a column. So that's how you extract the row IDs to a column in a data table in NIME. So for the third video, um, we're going to take the, uh, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take a column and we're going to force it to become the row IDs for the data table. So uh, look out for the third part. Um, check that video out so you can see how to do that otherwise hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and if you need any help or anything clarified um, just drop a comment and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible all right i'll catch you guys on the next video